Hello friends, hope you're all doing well on this beautiful day. Today will be our first adventure out to my local park. I'll show you the amenities as well as things you can do here. Hi friends, welcome to Edison Park. Um, you'll find a lot of parks like this around Australia. Uh, this is our local one. And like most of the parks here, um, it'll have quite a lot of the common amenities, um, which I'll show you today. The reason I'm making this video is that I've had some family or friends uh, from overseas who've always wondered what we do on the weekends here or where we go on the weekends here. And so I wanted to show you a park in Australia just as a, a general guide because there's a lot of videos of landmarks in Australia, of places to go in Australia, but it's always interesting to see what the locals see here. Um, and so today we'll take a tour around Edison Park. Edison Park here has uh, two barbecue areas, uh, one that's covered and one that's uncovered. So the one that we're in right now is the covered barbecue area, um, and this area has enough seating if you've got a large family or a large group that's come together, and it also, as you can see behind me, has free barbecues. So what that means is that these barbecues are electric and they're provided by the local council, and all you need to do is bring your own food your own utensils and all you need is basically just press the button set up the set up the barbecue and just put your food on and you can basically cook it there. Um, generally when we use the barbecues here we bring some aluminium foil or a tray to put the food in because you don't know if it's been cleaned up or what has been cooked on it but just make sure when you do use it to once you're done using it just clean up after yourself and there's bins normally around that you can use just to throw any rubbish away. Edison Park is also quite large. So, if you aren't able to get the barbecue area seated, there is lots of room to put down a picnic blanket and enjoy the day. The park also has a kids play area, as well as a duck pond, exercise equipment, skate park, and also has a disc golf course, which I'll show you guys now. Let's head to the disc golf course now, and I'll show you a sport that you may have never seen before. Until I came to this area, I had also never seen this sport, but it's very easy to play and I see many groups playing this here on the weekends. Disc golf is very similar to golf, but instead of using a golf club and golf balls, you instead use a discus and aim to get it into a metal basket in as few throws as possible. There is an instruction board near the first disc golf course and the board also shows where all 18 courses of disc golf are located in the park. The game is quite simple to understand, and all you'll need is your own discus to play. Yay! The park has a public toilet which is open from 7am to 10pm, and there are separate male and female toilets, as well as a disability toilet. These are cleaned by the local council and you'll see them at most parks or sport grounds here. So Edison Park has its own water fountain here. Um, with the water fountain, they're free to use. All you need to do is just go up to it, there's a button underneath, me, press that, the water comes out. Do you want a drink? It's nice and easy. And if you have a bottle with you as well, they've also provided water fountains for the water bottle as well. The water comes out. So you can just fill your bottle this way. And as you can see down here, there's also a little um, water station. If you've got any pets, um, they can also drink from that. Let's now go to the exercise equipment in the park. 
These public gyms are always open, easy to use, and have been installed in most of the parks here. They all work on your own body weight and are normally spaced around a park so you can get your walking or running done and then do the exercises as you go around the footpath. They're very good for beginners and as you'll see, they can lead to you losing so much weight. I used to be the size of me as well as a pillow. And after many days and lots of exercise, I'm now just my size. There is a separate area in the park for younger kids as well, with play areas, swings and slides. The play area is surrounded by part of the duck pond and all around the play area you can find telescopes for the kids to use. You can look through these to see so many interesting things. Oh look, quick, quick, look what I've just seen through the telescope, you're not going to believe it. I hope you all enjoyed taking a trip to a park in Australia. I really enjoyed having you all along for this journey. Let me know in the comments below something new or interesting you learnt about the parks here and if you want to know more, comment below with any questions you might have. If you enjoyed today's adventures, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. I'll be sure to put up more of what the locals enjoy in Canberra, but I'll also be posting videos of our journeys around the country as well as IELTS lessons. I can't wait to take you along for another adventure, until next time. Watch of your hand. Come on. <laughs>